Welcome back everybody into our usual daily recap. We're going to start uh, with Bitcoin today. Uh, we're going to see that gold and euro dollar will be kind of useless, but we're going to do our usual mm, price action analysis on Bitcoin. So let's start from the early morning, but we can see its price just creating a little bit of, let me put the PPLs, there you go. Bearish trend, finding a sort of support below this PPL, nothing really important, failing to break the key level. Again, finding support, these previous lows, still managing to not to break. Find a break and retest of this PPL, break the break and retest of the key level, giving you like 25 pips, reacting again at this, okay, at this previous high. Short pullback, again in the same DSA on the left hand side, and then break and retest of the key level, here, as you can see, retest of the PPL, and as well of these previous eyes giving you like more another um 25 pips on the upside let me here you see breaking with this of this level then we see a slow correction some breaking with this of the ppl but very very slow action we see a nice sort of Mm, how much is it? 20, so 50, 150 pips handle just randomly closing above and still uh, some market make a move, move, and go, uh, going crazy, but still then checking your way, yes, in a bearish trend, uh, but still respecting these previous PSA and lows on the left hand side. You see. The uh, triple tap this level there's high risk high reward entries when you see a fat body candle kind of body support you have a high risk high reward entry at the ppl but you also have medium risk entry above this previous lower high giving you a, a shift in market structure and giving you the opportunity to have safer sell above the PPL with the break and retest and impulsive bullish action to retest these previous eyes on the left hand side and there again as we saw here pull back revisiting those previous lows yet failing to make new eyes but still staying below this zone finding the way up with the break and retest of the PPL, very aggressive bullish, cleaner break and retest of 43,000 key level, uh, um, PPL and for uh, 100 key level. There you go. And then some ranging, expecting some moves from the FOMC. As you can see, this is the price level of reference, creating a support, and as you can see, the liquidity grab of the um, FMC statement exactly goes back to those lows and give you very aggressive bullish impulse. From there, yes, you see Shoston, and due to the neutral uh, optim slash optimistic um, words of power, you see an immediate mirror correction of the move between the key level, the PPLs, and going to revisit exactly these previous lows. From there, till now, we are just um, moving in a correction, we can retest the PPL, but still around this level. So this is it for Bitcoin. 
there we go on gold. As you can see, not much to say. Uh, as expected, prior to the FOMC, uh, we are ranging in another block, so really not much to say. Yes, we have some bouncing from the key level, but really nothing to say and to report, as you can see here. Then we have the FOMC at uh, 8 a.m., giving you very nice, uh, gives you a break and retest. <laughs> I'm joking, gives you a upper move, almost retest of the 1772.5 key level, and then straight up. Then you see a double top being printed, and then you see an equal move down, going to revisit the 1764. Let me put it a little bit better. And this was all due to the comments and the, um, and the headlines that I will show you in a few seconds. You see reaction, you see just ranging from here. And as you can imagine, Euro dollar did exactly the same. And you can see here. being in an even smaller and tighter for the block all day, then give you the same liquidity grab and move up as we saw on gold and Bitcoin as well, same double top and the same cell move with reaction at these previous lows on the left hand side in continuation down to revisit the key level 1.685 and then some ranging move and we are still in now so not very much to say let's go quickly on the FMC. There you go. As you can see, we have here the FMC uh, press release from today. What we saw is, uh, of course, Federal Reserve is committed to support the US economy. Uh, so we have progress on vaccinations. We have strong support economic activity and employment and continue to strengthen. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me, let's do it this way. There you go. These are the optimistic, optimistic comments. Uh, some vaccinations, there's support, of course, economic activity and employment are continuing to strengthen, but the rising COVID cases has slowed the recovery. Inflation is elevated. Overall, financial condition remains accommodative. This means still tapering, still support. Of course, it depends on the cost of the virus, but if we can make progress on the vaccination, we would like to reduce the effects of public health crisis. But risk remain, the, the risk remain. We are still seeking to uh, re, um, achieve maximum employment and inflation lower, but Of course, uh, ba -ba -ba, the committee expects to maintain an accommodative st stance of monetary policies until these outcomes are achieved with still zero um, 
and 0.25% of interest rate in part. Okay, so this is the recap of the um, of the statement. Let's jump on to into the real um, talk. So as you can see, we had the Fed chair speaking. Okay. Uh, here we started with 30. So I'm going to achieving. Okay. Okay, growth is likely to continue. Very optimistic. This is sort of optimistic, even with the COVID. Unemployment rate overstates an employment shortfall. Demand for labor is very strong. So optimistic. Still sees rapid economic growth. Bottleneck can be longer lasting than expected. That's why they were saying it is transitory, but it is not. Inflation is elevated and will likely remain high. FMC still jobs market continue okay. Bottlenecks can make longer lasting than anticipated inflation uh, figures. Upside risks to inflation. Inflation is still expected to drop back to longer run, the same as we saw. So we want, still want the 2% on average. Blah, blah, blah. Continued progress. So they will push vaccinations because the Delta variant has slowed the economic recovery and the risk to the economy as well remains. Always the tools that the Fed has to uh, respond to inflation and they will use them if it becomes a concern. Indicators, blah, 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 see consistent, taper. This is a very good news. Tapering, such talking about tapering. Um, Fed discuss appropriate pace of tapering once conditions for doing it so are satisfied. If the economy remains on track, we can start um, We can start as soon as the next meeting and the tapering could be, let's see, could be conclude around the middle of the next year. So this is starting to give some timeline, some specific time frame to the media regarding the tapering. And it's very optimistic on this. Tapering asset pressure is concluded in the middle Blah, blah. Another plan, of course. This is just regions. No one knows. But Fed has met the test for inflation goal to start tapering. Many of the FMC members feel a substantial further progress test has been met, but Powell still thinks it's not. Employment taper has met, I don't think it's still close. And that's why they say as you can see, language statement meant to flag bar for taper could be met as soon as next meeting. Very, very optimistic. Very modest overshoots. We say five, six percent is modest, very modest. Uh, blah blah blah. Inflation forecasts have been moved up, very support supporter community for timing and pace, asset purchases still ever used, but it's time to taper them, completing middle of next year, and will have completed taper by middle of next year. Okay, this is the proper way to go. As a broad support, as a push as soon as it's much as to than it was in the beginning. See lots, blah, blah, blah. Of course, interest rates is still a different, uh, a different topic. We're not talking about um, no, talk about interest rates right now. Uh, 
the job survival in upper universe will end first due to delta. So this is giving some um, negative speaks about um, delta variant in fact affecting the economy. But they say that it will fix with our time. But people will go back to work. Perfect news. Decent employment. So it doesn't, he, he was answering to a question of uh, do you need a 1 million report to start papering? No, in the, the, he doesn't need it. He will need just a decent one. Not a very strong, you can see. Default. The debt should not default. Severe damage. Very particular to China. Cause we can speed up or slow taper if appropriate. Oh, okay. Much further along than we when last taper was in 2013. Because interest rate is not going to happen until taper is done. And it will be gradual, of course. We be gradual, we start. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, what we add was COVID lights blowing, blowing economy world. Blowing. Not stopping employment, um, employment and it's almost wet, so some of the station and almost. Met paper, there are no paper. Met meeting with an LP. Unemployment. Paper will be gradual, but will end by me next year. Um, what else did we see? Mm, next meeting. And that's it, should be it. So for me, these words are very, very optimistic. That's why we saw this upside from the um, FMC statement. But then we saw this downside from the speech. 
so that's why it's a sort of mixed sentiment, but we have to see on the technical side um, what investors digest from it. So this is it for today. See you guys next time.